Hello everyone. Hello. This is the view from our current room. And now is the morning, so we are about to leave and move to another place uh, a bit more south, like 10 kilometers, to Lamai. Lamai Beach, yeah. And there we're going to live a little bit cheaper. <laughs> but yeah, it's gonna be nice. So now we just have to find a transport and check out here and then we can go on with our lives. And here we are at our new place, we just had some food and as you could see, it was just next to the beach, so it's awesome, it's really nice. And here we have two separate beds for some reason, we don't know why, but yeah, it's fine. Here we have AC, even a fridge, and this is the toilet. Today I managed to fly with my drone for the first time, as you could see. It was awesome, but a bit scary as well. And now we are walking towards a big market, we think. Supermarket. And then we're going to go to a food market in the city. We just refilled our cash. And also we didn't get allowed to record inside because I was recording while walking in ourselves uh, when we were talking and he was like no camera no camera so I could only record with my phone but the shop was very big we got this one from 7-Eleven and we've been waiting for a long time to try this so it's gonna be cool let's see will it open it okay let's try it yes okay. i'm a little bit scared but... it smells good mm -hmm. i just got rice mm. Actually, it was really good. Mm -hmm. Wow! wow. <laughs> and it's pretty cheap as well. Wow! Hello! We were at the beach, but it was really, really windy. And also the weather is really bad at the moment. So we are driving and yeah, we got this scooter also today to drive around at different beaches and also to a waterfall if the weather allows it. And now we're going to eat something before it starts raining because it doesn't look good. Here we have some curry paste with chicken and rice for our lunch and some water of course.
we just parked here uh, and we are going to the waterfalls which hopefully be, will be really cool and here uh, close to the parking lot there's some big elephants they look pretty sad and tired which is sad so the waterfall was really not the thing we expected because you know, there is a place where you can walk up with a view a uh, waterfall with a view so we'll try to find some locals that we can ask and hopefully we'll land in the spot that we were supposed to go to in the beginning so we walked a bit and we're not sure if this is the place but we'll see after a long time we finally found the place where we wanted to go from the beginning and now we have a 30 minute walk So this is the place we're climbing against. Okay. Nice. We decided to go back so we wouldn't hurt ourselves because Alexandra has a problem with her knee. Look how sweaty she is. And the view here is also nice so we yeah, will probably swim here. The water here is so cold. So we just arrived to the pier here in Koh Samui and we're waiting for our speedboat that will take us to Copayan. And this is our breakfast for today, some Oreo and Pringles. <laughs> the speedo trip is only 30 minutes so it's not so bad and we got here with minibus which was really fast and luxurious because it was like a VIP bus and it was cheaper than she said so we do not complain, right? We finally managed to get on the boat, on the speedboat but we're pretty sure that it's overpacked. Yeah. Some people didn't even get on. But we got free VIP at least. And here's all our bags. After the crazy journey with the speedboat, we have come to our new place. And this is how it looks. There's Alexandra, she's resting because she felt really ill on the speedboat. Without going to details, it was very rough. There are bags. And let's see the toilet, I haven't seen it yet. Wow. It's really nice. And also, it smells so good. That's how it looks like from below. But we just got our rest, and now we're going towards the city center and we're going to find something to eat because we haven't eaten anything today so we are starving I will show you something very common that people do not wear helmets here in Thailand even tourists look at this there's a lot of those places with uh, where you can wash your clothes like almost everywhere people offering either to wash and dry your clothes or you can find places where you can go by yourself which is really cool and it's pretty cheap so if you don't have the opportunity or you don't want to wash your clothes in the sink it's perfect look at that three people on a motorbike insane and also and I'm not sure if we have mentioned that before but there's a lot of stray dogs like that one for example and we heard from one very nice guy that we met on the bus on the way to the ferry. Oh, there's one more dog on the left side. And we learned from one guy we met at the, on the way to the ferry that he was, he was at the hospital because he fell on the waterfall on the way to waterfall 2 where we were at. And there's one guy that was in the hospital because he got bitten by dogs. First bite, first real food today. Mm -hmm. 
Is it so good? It's magical. This is behind the scenes of all the foods they're making, the food market. The burgers were awesome. We really needed that. But I'm not full yet, so I need to find another place to eat something more. A little vegan spring roll. That's a nice place to end the evening at. It's really vibey here. There's like an outside gym once again. People playing some sports, just chilling. And we, here we have Alexander training really hard. <laughs> As we haven't lost enough weight already. <laughs> This is our ride for today. We rented the scooter and we had the opportunity to either leave 5,000 in deposit or 5,000 baht or leave the passport. And obviously we chose to leave 5,000 because leaving a passport at the rental place, it's not so good. And also just a friendly tip, whenever you rent something, always check the reviews first because that can be, you can, get in some serious trouble if you don't check that and here we got 7-eleven we just got our breakfast here two toast and this was the 7-eleven we had to go to a bit far away because we don't have any electricity in the place we are at right now so it's like down in the whole area so it's not only our place but yeah. first stop here at Zen Beach and it's really really windy no one is taking a swim. Look at all the boats out in the sea. And this is the secret beach. Or maybe not so secret because we found it. Once again, we're in the same situation. This is our scooter and someone parked right in behind it. This is our lunch. <coughs> what a view. It was hard to get up here because of our choice of shoes but it was only 200 meters hiking so it's not so bad and it was totally worth it it's beautiful for the second time here on Kapayang we end up on the beach in the evening and it's so beautiful look at the sky it's awesome and we managed to stay here for one more night or yeah fix the room for one more night because we only had two nights so we'd have to leave tomorrow and that would be a bit hard because tomorrow is Christmas so that would be stressful because our plan was to go to Kotao and that's like one and a half hour with ferry so we managed to negotiate a good price with the owner at, at our uh, place that we stay at now and it's also a nice place so we want to celebrate Christmas there and a big problem right now is um, the weather is crazy right now it's so calm but during the day and I think on the east side of the island it's so windy it's crazy wind so we're not sure if we want to take the ferry to Katao because just two days ago there was a night ferry that went to Kotao, or yeah, should went to Kotao and uh, yeah, it sank 70 people, 70 tourists on board um, very gladly everyone survived, everyone was good, no injuries and so on but still, we don't want to experience that especially after our last ride and someone feeling really, really ill 
So we have a bit of thinking to do, a big decision, how we are supposed to manage our days here. But it will be good. We got this bun, we are going to Thai. Very decent. We wanted to buy this because we thought it was durian, but it's not. So I'm really sorry, Martin, that we cannot find any durian here, but we asked so many times and uh, the places just say it's not season for durian, it's another fruit, so I'm sorry. Here we got our evening snack. Some sushi, this is salmon, this is like flamed salmon, I don't know what it's called. You can try if you want. Mm. <laughs> One out of ten. Eight. Eight. No, it was really good. Okay. Nice. And also if you wonder, this is street food, but we checked when they made this, so it looked good. The salmon also looked, looked really good, so it should be fine. And here we have some snacks. Foods. Mm. Tasty, really tasty. I like it. <laughs> 